Welcome to the We Guard Cleveland podcast with me, your host, Casey Howard. Today, um, we are going over um, what I told you guys we were in a past video. This video is on Will Oscar Gonzalez have a case of the second year slumps. And I already told you my answer is yes, I think we will. But there is even more details to back it up of why he will, um, in my why I think he will. I really hope he doesn't, but the information so far is not looking good. So let's get started, because we got a lot to cover today. First is um, the Guardians outfield coach Kyle Hudson is leaving the team. Um, he left the team this off season, and Oscar was very close to him. Um, I read in an article, um, and that could affect the Oscars' development. Then, in an interview with Josh Naylor, um, Josh said that T- Tito asked him if he would be able to play right field this year, and Oscar said yes. Um, Tito is a great manager. I think whatever he does will be the right decision. But I think so far how he's handled it so far, I don't really agree with. But I can't really question Tito because, in my opinion, he's the best manager in the league. Um, next is he is also sending Gabriel Arias and Tyler Freeman to the out- try right field because um, – they don't really have enough room for them in the infield, and they already have Will Brennan and Richie Palacios out there. So they got four guys who three of them are really infielders who they are going to try to teach to play outfield because they already have tons of infield depth. So this could hurt Oscar because it, it, it sounds like what we've heard so far that the Guardians don't want Oscar as their starting right fielder long term or they think he will struggle. It's just kind of weird that they're sending so many players to try to play right field. So that's a little concerning to me. And if I were in Oscar's shoes, I would probably be concerned, wondering why they are like, it looks like as soon as, if I, me- if I mess up once, they're going to replace me sort of feeling. Um, and then, like, how they would play him. Uh, Naylor, Josh Naylor is a left-handed hitter. Oscar Gonzalez is a righty. So you might be like, well, then, it's not bad. They might just alternate Naylor and Oscar every other day in right field and have the other DH. But they also have the other three people, um, Palacios, Brennan, and either Freeman or Arias there so i mean their freeman or arias will be a righty too so i don't know how much i mean gonzalez just has to perform right away i feel like there's a lot of pressure on oscar i feel like the guardians are putting pressure on oscar that they don't need to and i think they need if i was the guardians manager i would just let him do what he did last year kind of let him cook kind of let him perform very well do his own thing now we don't really know where he will hit in the lineup this year um against a right-handed pitcher we can assume he will either bat sixth or seventh i would say probably sixth or seventh he'd probably hit seventh because they would probably hit Josh Bell is going to be their cleanup hitter. Then they have Josh Naylor. Then they have Andres Jimenez. And then Oscar would be the seventh guy in that order against a right-handed pitcher when he starts in. And he'll probably always start against a left-handed pitcher. Um, He'll probably hit fifth because it'll go Bell, Gonzalez, and then maybe even Zunino or Jimenez. Um, so I feel like, I feel like he's going to be further down in the order than he was last year. I don't think that will necessarily affect his play, but I just want to mention that. 
Um, but here's the main thing that I think will affect is how the Guardians decide to coach him. What I mean is, do they take last year's approach or do they take this year's approach? Like, last year, if they take last year's approach, it would probably look like 288 with 18 home runs and 72 RBIs. And then, if they go to the power approach, this is just what it looks like on paper. This is not what I think would actually happen. It would be like 250 with 35 home runs and 101 RBIs. So, the power option definitely looks better. Um, So far in spring training, they said he's shown a lot of power hitting. He's been practicing his power hitting, and he has been doing good at it. But once we actually get into games, we'll see how good he does. But this is what I think is more realistically to happen, since usually in your second year with all this competition they're bringing in, I do not think he will do as good as he did last year. Um, I think if they go with last year, the same approach they went with him last year, I think he could hit something like this. I think he could hit 255 or 260 with 20 home runs and 82 RBIs. I think, though, if they go with the power approach, he might not even do as... He won't do as good, I don't think. Even though... Right now, they said that he has been doing good power hitting. I think it'll look like more like this. 223 with 22 home runs and 75 RBIs. Um, so, I actually think if they did last year's, he'd be better. I think that power hitting is what will give him the slumps. And by the information we've been given so far, it looks like he will have them. Um, Tito is a great coach, though. I think whatever decision he makes with Gonzalez will be the right one. I'll back that up. Um, I just don't like how he's handled this so far, but he knows more than I do. So, whatever his decision is will will be best, most likely. So, please like and subscribe for more content. Um, tell your friends to watch, um... The bigger audience, the better. Um, I might be streaming some games live this year, so look out for that. Um, But for now, Casey is out.